Здравствуй, мама, я пишу тебе все. Здравствуй, мама, у меня все хорошо, солнце светит. Все нормально у меня, а в глазах не стоит туман. Прошу из гранат. Hello everyone, this is Raven Smap. Welcome for the summary of the day of 1 April 2023. So for today we have a major information. It's uh, nobody would have thought uh, would have think it could it could it could happen. It's not possible. But yes, tonight uh, uh, Morocco launched its special military operation. What is their special military operation? They invaded. They even invaded Ukraine. So as you can see, the front line is now here. They said that they 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 must finish the job themselves, and uh, like here is their uh, military organization. So you can see here they used mechanized brigade, mechanized brigade and regiments, and uh, they are now saying that they might even attack Russia, fight Russia, and take back all of Ukraine. They said you. So Morocco, um, Morocco uh, general said that Ukraine belongs to Morocco. Like, Ukraine is historical part of Morocco. So yeah. So now the Ukrainians are even thinking about allying, like becoming allies with uh, Russians to fight uh, fight off Moroccans. And uh, right now it's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. Because if you see. Um, the Russians, uh, the Moroccans, sorry, are already in a, in this town, they, they, and they are now going to like uh, invade Kremenchuk. They are in Svitlovodsk. They already captured um, Nipo Nipo Djerginsk or Kamyansk. They have half of Dnipro, Dnipro Petrovsk, and they are also like um, going to launch a amphibious attack. In Zaporozhia, they already have a uh, half of it, like this uh, part. And uh, yes, it's not looking good at all for Ukraine right now, and no, no, not looking good for Russia. They also captured Kherson, Nikolaev, Odessa, uh, everything like in just one night. It's it's um, really uh, nobody would have expected this. They say that the invasion would have happened sooner, but they were sleeping. That's why they did not invade uh, up until now. But yes, uh, I don't even know how to map correctly because things are moving so fast. It's just one night. In one night, they managed to do this. So yeah, I have no expectation for this. And also, as you can see, Belarus uh, allied with Morocco, and like I think they they understood that Russia had almost all of his troops in Ukraine, and they now launched an invasion toward uh, like they captured in Moscow in just one night too it's uh, really unexpected but honestly the Belarusians are so strong and uh, their leader is so beautiful that uh, you know it's everything is possible so yes they sent all of their army and they captured Moscow and uh, right now there is a battle uh, going on in this area there is like uh, the Belarusians Armies all gathering in this place. They are all gathering in this place in Kusna Itotska because apparently they discovered the 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 potatoes. The, they they want the potatoes recipe. They really see how how it is made. They that's what they think. They think that this invasion is just it's worth it because Belarus without potatoes. No, it's not possible. I can't imagine this. But another problem is that, uh, sadly, uh, some Belarusian troops um, turned uh, toward the west and not the east, like they mistaken the roads. They, uh, I believe the, their commander doesn't know what uh, the difference between left and right, because a part of the Belarusian army um, like accidentally uh, invaded uh, yeah, Poland and uh, captured Warsaw. So... The Belarusian people say they are sorry for that and uh, they will give back more so very soon. But uh, really the US, NATO and Griffin are shocked. Like they can't do anything. They are fearing Belarus. 
and I think that uh, honestly, I think it's good that they feel Belarus because they don't know what power is in Belarus. They they really underestimated Belarus for so long. I think Belarus is now going to conquer all of the world. Honestly, very interesting piece of news coming from Belgrade. So in Belgrade, as usual, um, well, the city is very congested. The roads are very, very, very uh, full of cars. Like it's always congested. But there's very interesting piece of information that that all the analysis, everyone in the world, uh, experts and everything like that, are asking themselves what's happening. So the tramway uh, number two uh, in Belgrade is now stuck in Pristaniste. And all the experts are asking themselves, is it normal? Is it like a, a sign that perhaps uh, Serbia is preparing a false flag saying that someone blocked uh, the tramway uh, number two in Pristaniste so they can invade all of Europe? We don't know, but uh, really the analysis, the generals, the everything, the strategists are all concerned with this. Now, coming uh, toward the really the most interesting part, um, you have Morocco. Morocco here, the Moroccan Empire. The Moroccan Empire invaded in just one night, one night and single, a single night, the entirety of this uh, territory. They sent all of their troops, mechanized uh, infantry brigades all across the Sahara Desert. And, well, they have invaded all of this in just one night. It's uh, really... We don't know what's happening with Morocco, but uh, it seems like they are uh, really, really, uh, they really want to conquer uh, the, uh, all of uh, the world, or we don't know. But anyway, they will have to face very uh, strong opponents because right now, after uh, mainland Algeria has been captured, mostly captured by uh, Morocco, um, the government of Algeria has. Uh, uh, the, the, the government of Algeria has stated that they fled to their uh, second capital city in Marseille. So this is the last uh, Algerian uh, city that is still not conquered by uh, Morocco. And Algeria is calling for an uh, international coalition. So, yeah, they, uh, they want to like make a coalition with all of the planet to invade Morocco. And there is already some troop buildup. So, as you can see, the troop buildup is right now in the city of uh, Algerian city of Marseille. You can see uh, that there is already the mechanized infantry. They are using, uh, as you can see, there are multiple, um, like multiple uh, sorts of uh, uniform. So it's perhaps already different armies that are gathering in this place. Perhaps there is the Tunisian army here, the Algerian army here, and yeah, they are already practicing and training for the upcoming invasion of Morocco. And as you can see, uh, there is the strategies, the analysis, the generals are analyzing the situation and gathering all of all of the informations they can before uh, yeah invading Morocco. And as you can see, they have also a new sort of equ equipment. The Nike TN. Uh, the Moroccans are very concerned with that because apparently this, this sort of shoes are really uh, a good. Uh, it's really uh, something that could help the Algerian and the international coalition to conquer Morocco because with this with these shoes, man, you can't you, you can run like uh, so fast. Yeah, N nobody can catch you with these shoes. So. Moroccans are watching closely, and as you can see, they are using a new sort of uh, helmet, like a very strong helmet that perhaps has a the, the helmet has a screen in front to analyze analyze all all what's happening in the front line, and as you can see, they are using very smart tactics. So you have the foot soldiers that are giving the information to the mechanized infantry to like make surprise attacks so they're really 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 ready to attack morocco to invade morocco yeah i believe they will win
And uh, during the same time in France, northern France, uh, there was a, a protest in uh, the city of uh, Lille, this city. And uh, unfortunately, the, some police officials were, uh, they were like uh, chasing some protesters. And when chasing the protesters, they accidentally invaded uh, Belgium. Yeah. The police officers said that they were chasing the protest protesters. The protesters went in Belgium to hide, but they kept on chasing them. And they basically invaded all of Belgium without even knowing it. So the international community is very concerned with that and is asking uh, France to step back. And very, uh, if you remember two years ago, like the Marleyan Empire had attacked like the Middle Eastern coalition in the battle for Fort Slava. Slava. And what happened is that from uh, this city of Cairo, um, the Marleyan Empire sent, um, yeah, they sent uh, aircraft and uh, dirigible, or I don't know how do you say it, like balloons to attack this fort. And as you can see here in this uh, video, they used Titans. They sent in the infantry, Titan, Titan infantry. They turned them into Titans, as you can see. So there is real footage of the Battle of Fort Slava. So down here, you have the Middle Eastern fort. So the bombing run has been quite effective, but did not uh, damage everything. The Middle Eastern soldiers still had some of their equipment. And after the bombing run, the yeah the Marleyan Empire sent the, one of their best soldiers, uh, Rainer Brown. Allerdings war der Sprung zu hoch. So he is the holder of the Armored Titan. Armored Titan, sorry. 29. I have their Zahl and their Position erfasst. But. Schon wieder eine Mauer. Mauern habe ich mittlerweile. So was von Sack. So the Middle Eastern coalition still attacked. But most of their equipment has been destroyed. Das sind panzerbrechende Anti-Titan-Geschosse. Sie durchdringen selbst meine Panzer. Was war das? Was hat mich getroffen? And big surprise, the Middle Eastern Alliance has like built uh, a more trend. Yeah, so we're waiting to see what happened. So that happened like uh, two years ago, and after that, like um, the Middle Eastern coalition like has uh, capitulated, and uh, they joined the Marleyan Empire. But if you remember, uh, one month uh, one month ago, Eren Yeager, the Eren Yeager, the chief of like the Paradis Island Army, National Army, Liberation Army, was spotted inside of uh, this city, this town of Liberio, in the Marleyan Empire. Uh, what happened is that during a uh, speech. He attacked basically most of the world's leader. So as you can see here in this map, the, the area where he attacked was is still not rebuilt. But let's see what happened like one month ago.
ですが私は死にたくありませんそれは私がこの世に生まれてきてしまったからです So when the government So when the government of Marley has declared war Eren Yeager was here He was here and he transformed into a titan So, yeah, the geolocation is here. As you can see, when he transformed, he destroyed the building, and uh, that's the destroyed building, destroyed part. It hasn't been like rebuilt yet fully. But since this attack uh, against uh, like uh, the world's leader, the world leaders that were here listening for the speech, the Marleyan Empire and the world coalition invaded uh, today. Like uh, they just invaded, attacked um, Paradis Island and uh, started here the invasion. So here is some footage of the current warfare. Yeah, by using airships, uh, paratroopers and things like that. And there is some uh, more I intensive footage from the the fights let me let me show you what, uh, what's happening right now in the front it's really terrible so you have the paradisian uh, soldiers But the Marlian Empire has bro uh, brought a new kind of sniper uh, cannon, like a very big anti-Titan cannon. And there is no some sort of not trench warfare, but they are fighting over the houses like it's a really interesting new kind of warfare. Really, this uh, this day is amazing. I don't understand what's happening, but uh, we shall see what happens in the next few days. I don't know what's happening, and I hope that everyone is safe out there because uh, it looks like it's World War Three. So yeah, um, I don't know what you think about that, but uh, really, I'm very concerned about what's happening today. And uh, I think that's all. Oh yes, um, and uh, Russia like uh, sent a nuclear bomb. They nuked. They wanted to nuke the city of uh, uh, New York here, this city of New York, but they accidentally accidentally like mistaken and uh, they accidentally nuked this New York so yeah they destroyed New York New York is now all destroyed but thankfully they uh, the American peoples and especially those living in California like said uh, it's not a big deal it's just New York nobody will will care about that nobody will cry about it so I think everyone is happy about that so thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.